I'd like to do a brief invocation now to connect in. And to that end, I'd like you to adjust your seating so you are comfortable and relaxed and take two or three deep cleansing breaths. See yourself extending your hand to the universe as an invitation to enter into a partnership with you today. There will now be a few moments of total silence as you focus on your breathing, pulling in the light and love of divine creator to assist you today. Let's close this with our planetary prayer. I'll say one line and you repeat after me. May all beings be safe. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be happy. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be loved and may all beings love and be loved. May all beings be at peace. May the earth be safe. May the earth be healthy. May the earth be happy. May the earth be free from suffering. May the earth love and be loved. May the earth be at peace. Namaste. Okay, come on back. Let me introduce you to this special service. Some of you have never participated in this, so you're brand new. And some of you have been here time and time again, and you know it all, but <laughs> trust me, just listen anyway. Um, we do this burning bowl service at this time each year. Now, the past year ends today, and the new year arrives tomorrow. And so we take this occasion to release the old stuff and invite in a new way of being. You are already perfect and whole, so we're not so much changing ourselves as we are envisioning seeing ourselves and our situations anew. And today we have a window to decide what thoughts, ideas, and activities of the older we would like to eliminate and then to release them in a dramatic flash. After we do that, we set our intention and vision for the coming year by writing a letter to the universe or our high self, affirming the activities and dreams that lead each of us on our journey toward freedom, joy, and growth. The burning bowl service is a time to relinquish anything that burdens your mind and at the same time identify those things in your life that you wish to occur in the coming year. So you should have three pieces of paper and a writing tool. Just notice, you don't have to open them yet. Make sure you do have them, though. Um, the envelope contains a highly flammable piece of flash paper. So please do not, hand, do not handle that yet. Somebody's handling it. <laughs> don't handle the flash paper. <laughs> For those participating on Zoom, here are the materials you need to have ready. A candle of any size on a protective plate or frying pan in a way and a way to light the candle. And just in case, a bowl of water in case you need to extinguish something quickly. You need two pieces of paper, one small, just a tiny two by two to burn, and one letter size to mail, a writing tool. And for later, you'll need two envelopes. This is optional, but one needs to be addressed to the Interface Center and the other one is a self-addressed stamped envelope. So you mail one envelope inside the other. Those who are here have all these items furnished. So for the release, we'll be doing a meditation to open that process. And then after that, the mother drum will be played. The drumming lasts for a good length of time for you to determine what it is you are releasing, to write it down, and then make your way to the candle to burn it. Some of you may already feel, oh, I know what to release. However, don't rush into that. Stay seated for several minutes after the drumming starts. 
Let the drum inform you of the best thing for you to release. Your ego may want to release one thing, but your soul may say something different, and it needs time to speak to you. For those of you on Zoom, please be very careful with this part of the ritual. Find a safe place to do it. If you can, go outside to burn the paper. Or you can tear the paper into tiny pieces and flush it away. What's important is your intention. And if you finish early, you can return to your chair and let the drumming continue to work its magic, washing you clean. And you also have the opportunity to wait until a later time to do the burning if you feel you're not ready to do it today. Okay, so those of you here have a small piece of this paper. Don't open it yet, I'll tell you when. <laughs> okay, here it's just this tiny piece of paper. It's highly flammable. It's what magicians use to create those flashes of light. Handle it as little as possible when you do remove it. You'll be asked to write your releases on it and then burn it in the candle flame. You know, be aware that if you feel you may have built up some static electricity in your hands, please touch a piece of metal after you stand up to get rid of that charge before you make your way to the flame. Um, that just makes, makes the release happen. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this. What you want to do is to hold the corner, hold it in one corner, and put the other corner into the flame, and it is a dramatic flash of, dramatic flash of light. And let it go. That's all there is to it. Easy, huh? Fun, huh? Okay, we're doing this to the beat of the mother drum. This year's drummers are Sundance Di Domenico, Randall Counts, Bob Hopkins, and Lindsay Passmore. Okay, those are the details. Thank you for your patience. Let's move into the ceremony, which will be opened by Alora and Sundance, and that will take us to a meditation, which will lead us into the releasing. This is a special music part of the service.
what a wonderful version of the Pothello Canon. Is this on? Okay, now it is. What a wonderful version of the Pothello Bell Canon. My favorite to date so far, I think, actually. Okay, we're now going to be doing the release meditation. Make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath and begin to go inward. Release whatever concerns you may have. Breathe in light, exhale, and let go. Breathe in, exhale, and let go. Move to your heart center and connect to it. Listen for the whispers from divine creator, Holy Spirit, high self, or the universe to guide you to what needs to be released. Feel your heart filling up with light and love and see that light expanding around your whole body. You are filled with light. You are surrounded with light. You are the light. This is your God center. You are God and God is in you. You are one with all that is. From this place of divine being, this safe place surrounded by love and light, allow yourself to see where blocks to the constant flow of light may exist. Ask yourself, where may I not be allowing the flow of my good to reach me? Do I have old habits that no longer serve me? Do I have limiting thoughts of my self-worth, a fear of poverty, or even a fear of wealth? Do I need to forgive someone or myself for something that happened in the past? Do I need to let go of a limiting relationship or a limiting way of doing things? Such thoughts, fears, and feelings can sometimes block the flow. This is your chance to let go and let Creator God handle it. Remember, the universe wants only good for you. Simply by being present here today, you are acknowledging to the universe and to yourself that you have the strength, the courage, and the willingness to let go of old beliefs and habits which are no longer needed. Begin to release the attachment to how things turn out and trust that what happens is for the highest good. Okay, now we're going to sing the release chant to anchor our intention. It's on the back of your programs.
And now, with Spirit's loving guidance, open to what it is you are ready to release. Listen to your heart's voice whispering. Take some time. Try to sink your breath to the beat of the drum. Don't rush this part of the ritual. There's plenty of time to burn the paper. And when you are ready, take the paper from the envelope. You may do that now. And write your releases. You can even write very small and list as many things as you want. Then move slowly and with deliberation as you take your paper to the candle and burn it away. Deep breath. This is the ceremony, part of the ceremony for the manifestation. During this part, you'll be writing a letter to the universe. This is where you decide what you want to manifest in the new year. <clears throat> the process of writing it down is called densification. What you write down makes its way directly into the vibration of the universe and starts it working to bring to you. We're removing the thought from our mind and bringing it into the physical. We'll do a brief meditation to get you into the right space. Um, when you take your time writing the letter, there's plenty of time again. And when you're finished, please bring your letter up and place it in the basket along with your self-addressed stamped envelope. And for those of you who are here, please make sure you do write your name and address on that envelope. Otherwise, it'll never get to you. <laughs> Later, yes. Okay, so <clears throat> let's begin by setting our intention. I now manifest the reality I desire. Relax your shoulders. Tune into your breath. 
Notice how you feel having released your blockages. Inhale fully, expanding your belly and chest as much as you can and hold it for three seconds. Then fully exhale, feeling a wave of relaxation sweep over you, filling you with fresh op oxygen. Again, inhale and hold for three seconds and exhale. Again, feeling that wave of relaxation. Inhale once more so deeply that you are brimming with air. Hold it for a moment at the top, soaking in the life force and exhale. Notice your body relaxing without any effort from you. As you inhale again, feel the life force gently this time, feeling the breaths purifying your entire body. As you exhale, try not to do anything. Simply notice how you are feeling. Let your breath be natural now and notice how abundance feels. Now focus on those things that give you joy. By your intention, align yourself with the loving energy of the universe and keep breathing. Now it's time to put pen to paper and compose your letter of manifestation to the universe. Manifest what you really, truly want in your life. This is the time to go big. You get what you ask for, you don't get what you don't ask for. Put aside any feelings of low self-worth and see yourself as the powerful creator you are. You have released your blockages and nothing stands in your way. The energies for creating your reality are extraordinarily strong at this time. Call them forth and use them. Visualize and really see your creations spring to life. And remember to sign and date your letter.
If you haven't finished, you may continue writing. After the service, the sanctuary will remain quiet for as long as you need. <laughs> 